Hi friends, welcome to our channel Easy Learning Lab. I am back a bit again with a new topic that is group by clause. In my previous videos, we have done a theoretical on group by clause. In this video, we are going to do some practicals on group by clause. So let's start friends. For all these notes, you can just see below link, subscribe my channel and you can see the below link. You can download all these notes from that link. Okay, let's start friends. So basically, what is group by clause? Group by statements groups rows that have same values into summarized rows. So the syntax is very simple. Select column name from table where conditions group by and the column names list of the column names. So it's very simple this group by clause. Using this group by clause we can answer lots of questions like in which department we have highest salary in which department we have we have minimum salary or how many records are there for a particular department or how many records are there in the table we can find this using this group by clause with this group by clause we have to use some functions aggregated functions the there are i have just given you a few examples of few of the aggregated functions first one is count count basically counts number of rows like it is based on if you put a group by clause it is based on uh, based on grouping conditions it will give you the count there is a max function there is a min function there is a sum function there is a average functions so for this video i have i will be creating this table so let's start So I have this script. I have logged into my live SQL. I am just creating this table, employee table, which has four columns that has ID, name, salary, and department. Okay. I am just creating this table. Table created. In my earlier video, I have told you how to check the table structure. So you have described So this is table structure we have created. Okay. Now we will insert the five records into this table. So I have inserted five records to check the result whether these records are inserted or not. I am just using select star from employee table. See, we have these five records. Okay. So now we will practice a group by clause. So first is count like we have five records if we want to count how many number of records we have just use select count star from employee table. So what will be the result five rows because we have a five rows in the table see five rows so count will be five. So this is basically number of records I have given the alias okay see see the name has been changed to number of records five it's very simple
number of records using this count functions now if we want to count the number of records on basis of department like in which department how many employees are there so it's very simple this condition is without grouping by clause now we are using a, our group by clause okay see select department count as cnt or you can say department count department count from employee group by department order by okay so i will tell you what this order by is first we will check this see what will what is the result see this is our data set so if we manually check it how many records are there with cs department we have we have one two three we have basically three records for department and two records for md so three and two see now the order is basically cs cs is coming first md is coming second so if we remove this order by clause just i will remove it order by clause what will happen yeah md has come so that's why i have done the ordering because ordering means like for alphabetic it is a b c d for numeric it is one two three four this is basically in descending or basically it is an ascending order by default it is an ascending order this ordering is all depend on the system settings like currently in this system it is basically on a descending order that's why it is coming in the descending order but if we do if we give the order of a clause this or if you don't mention anything here it is always been an ascending if you mention asc it is it is also give the same result like ascending order smaller to larger see smaller to larger okay you got this count function now we move to a next next function that is basically our next function is next function is sum we want sum of the salary in each department like how much we expend in each department so it is very simple this is sum just run it you will get a result only we have changed this sum function this sum from this count we have changed it to sum and on what basis it is on salary basis so this is department wide salary if you don't mention this group by clause like then you can see what type of error it gives like i have just select department sum as an employee if you run this it will give an error not a single group by function still if you want to run the sum of all like whole total complete total in the record set you can do it just remove this only you can use this function aggregated function now what it does it will sum up all these values because there is a no group on it so it will sum up all these values see it will give you a single value sum of all these values okay but if you group by clause on basis of department it will group it on basis of department practice is you will get it it's very easy to understand now next is minimum if we want to calculate a minimum salary in each department so this is the statement minimum you will get the answer this these are the minimum check the records minimum salary in cs 
CS department minimum salary is 2800 4000 3600 all is greater and this is less smallest in CS department MD department this is IS 12 okay we get same output correct we get the same output same way we have the maximum if you want to found a maximum salary you will get the maximum salary you will get the maximum salary let's check we get the maximum salary yeah correct see in this record set CS what is the maximum is 4000 4000 for MD what is the maximum 4600 4600 okay so it's very simple there are more functions but basically we use these all these functions all these aggregated functions in our calculations you can have this grouping on basis of multiple columns also multiple columns you can have this grouping I have just shown you about taking a one example with a department but in the in the scenario in the coming in the scenarios you will get a more complex with using multiple group by group by uh, clause group by columns and you have to aggregate that functions you have to use that aggregating that functions so you can do it the last one is the average you know average this is the average functions how you can get the average of the salary it's also very simple average what is invalid character okay there is a dot there in still it is showing invalid character yeah you get the average the average we are getting six 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 and lastly you can round this also so we have one round function basically r o u n d round to how many places of decimal if we put five it will round to five place of decimal just run it see rounding you know rounding five places of decimal it has round it so using this round function you can round also so what we cover in this video we have covered some practical knowledge on grouping functions we have seen count max min average sum practice these functions So let's revise what we do what we have done in our video we have created a table we have inserted the records then we have checked few grouping functions like count sum min max and average so friends that's all for today if you have any doubt or any questions you can comment comment me or you can send me a mail or you can you can put you can post a post a comments there so I can answer it if you are facing some challenges while doing it you can just mail me so I can clarify the doubt if you have any doubt or any anything you have you can just mail me I will clarify your doubt I will try to clear, clarify your doubt if you have stuck in any problem or stuck somewhere just mail me with, with that conditions with that query just mail me I will try to rectify it also give me a data set for it thank you friends for watching my video have a nice day thank you